Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Alpha Wolf 26 RBL. This camper comes in at 32 feet, 8 inches tongue to bumper and right at 6,250 pounds empty as a dry weight. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights so you can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles. Those have a hard shell cover with a quick access lid so you can reach in and turn those on and off. And those will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your Group 27 Deep Cycle Marine Battery. We have the Juice Pack option on here, which means there's 100 watt solar on the roof, as well as the battery that comes with it. Diamond Plate Rock Guard. We also have the fiberglass molded front cap here. So nice looking, got the extra uh, LED lights incorporated with it as well. Uh, for the Alpha Wolf, the sidewalls are laminated, they're aluminum frame, and then around each opening is also framed as well. We have the magnetic door latches here. As you can see, we have the large pass-through storage. We have the motion sensor light inside there. The camper is going to come with electric power jacks. We have the switches on the outside here and how that works. One leg will come down first, then the other one will come down and they will equal out in pressure and that will stabilize the camper for you. We are pet friendly. We have the leash latch here so the furry family members can tag along. We also have the reflective tint on the windows with the Alpha Wolf product here. Very generous 20 foot power awning with the blue accent LED light as well. Each arm is adjustable, so if the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning accordingly as well. We have your on-demand water heater. It is gas only, but it's on-demand, so it's only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past, and really a great feature to have. You have your outside entertainment center with your speakers that light up blue, your power source TV connection, and then also the bracket here, which is the same bracket on the inside. You simply lift your TV up, bring it out here, and drop it in. We have your furnace vent. All lights are LED lights on the camper here. We have your center cap popped off. It is the quick, easy lube axles. All four wheels have self-adjusting brakes on them and also a tire pressure monitoring system. And how this works, the side will be green, so you can walk around and do a visual check. I'll unscrew this to demonstrate if it's red, then you know that you are low on air. So that'll be a good visual check just to walk around before you leave for your next destination. We have your sturdy steps going into the camper with an oversized grab handle. We have the tempered glass black entrance door. Very nice look to it. It also comes with a window that is built into it and a full size screen door. We have a massive outside kitchen here. We have a plumbed in sink. We have your ice maker, storage, lights out here. Uh, also the blue accent lights. We have two uh, ec extra large mini fridges out here. We also have the griddle that comes with it. Um, and then also a storage shelf as well. And of course, there's a gas quick dis disconnect underneath, so the griddle will run off the gas on the camper itself. In the back here, we have your forage tube bumper where the sewer hose will store. We have your uh, spare tire and travel rack. The cover comes with it as well. Up top, we also have, it is prepped for a roof ladder. So you can purchase that separately. That will allow you to get up there and get access to the roof for maintenance purposes. And the backup camera, which is included as well. As we move around to the side, we have your low pressure spray port. It's hot and cold water. It has a coil um, hose that will come out with it. Um, Alpha Wolf really cleans it up nicely. As you can see, everything's together here. We have your satellite and cable hookups, your fresh water fill. So you would just fill that up if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking. Turn on your water pump and use that water. We have your black tank flush, which will clean out your black tank for you. And then also your fresh water fill or I'm sorry, your city water. So if you're at a campground or your house, you simply hook up your water hose here and that will pressurize the lines for you. They also strategically put a light right here, right by your connections and your dump station. So if it's nighttime, you can see what's going on. Uh, this is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord as well. As we move in front of the slide room here, uh, we will have last but not least, the other side of your pass through storage which again is gonna have the magnetic door catch. And that will conclude our walkthrough for the Alpha Wolf, excuse me, Alpha Wolf 26 RBL. And actually last but not least, right inside we have this red key. Uh, that is a 12 volt cutoff switch. That will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. So if you're in storage or uh, over the winter time, you can turn that key. And now we'll move to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice the bathroom is in the very back here got a very large bathroom get a nice overview of the camper here large slide room with the theater seating 
Large U-shaped dinette as well in the kitchen area here with the entertainment center. And then we'll come right back to where we just walked into. Um, right inside the door here, we got a lot going on. We have your one control hotspot where you can add additional Wi-Fi. We have your volt meter since we have the juice pack option. Also on the left is gonna be uh, the main control panel for your water heater. Since it's on demand, you can set the temperature, turn that on and off, and your thermostat for your air and furnace. Down below, we have the main control panel that will turn on your lights with the, uh, also run your slide room and your awning. Turn your water pump on and off and check your tank levels as well. Directly across that, we have your walk-in pantry here. You can see it has the frosted glass door. We'll open this up and take a look. It has a magnetic um, lock on it. Lots of large shelves in here. We have a coat hanger right inside as well. Plenty of space down below. So it is a true walk-in closet. Got a lot of storage in there. Moving over to the entertainment center, we have your storage up above, TV connections as well. Also a spot where you can sync your phone to the camper for the speakers. Uh, has inside outside speakers, you can adjust those and play music off your favorite app as well. We have your fireplace, which is electric only. That will also serve as a space, space heater. So you can turn that on and get some electric heat if you'd like. Underneath the refrigerator, we have your furnace duct on the right there. Then your breakers and fuses. We have the very large 12 volt refrigerator, uh, more of a residential size refrigerator. Since it's 12 volt only, it does not need the same ventilation as the gas electric ones. So as you can see, it is much deeper and you get a lot of extra space in there. In the kitchen area, we have your microwave with the range vent that will vent to the outside. Decorative backsplash. Lots of LED lights in here. They do a great job at really lighting up the kitchen as well. We have your kitchen window. Three burner stove with a cover. So you can use that as prep space if needed as well. It also comes with the oven. We have your farmhouse style kitchen sink. It also has the cover with it. So you can use that as prep space if needed. We have your high rise faucet. That also comes with the pull out sprayer here. And I will lift this up so you can take a look at the sink area. Nice, large, single bowl sink. As we move over to the bedroom area, we're gonna have this sliding door, farmhouse style door. Again, just a nice accent, gives it a really nice look. We have your emergency exit window, 110 and 12 volt charge ports on both sides of the bed. We are gonna have hanging storage on both sides of the bed cabinets up top those will have the doors on them so you can use that as storage while traveling as well decorative wallboard up front we have your queen size mattress and the pillows and the um, bedding come with it as well over here with more hanging storage again with your 12 volt and 110 charge port over there nice tall window on this side there is a spot where you can hang your TV at the foot of the bed. You have your TV connections up there. And then you also have a coat hanger right inside here and a sticker where the TV backer is. So you can hang the TV right at the end of the bed here. As we move to the living room area again, we'll take a look right inside the slide room here. In the slide room, of course, we have that theater seating. And also this very large U-shaped dinette where the whole family can sit at. We have full length storage drawers underneath each seat in here. There is storage underneath the rear bench as well. We have your zebra blinds. Those can be darkened out completely the way they are now or partially open to let some sunlight in as well. The theater seating, which are heated and also massage chairs. And then these also have a blue accent light that you can turn on and it's all um, operated by the cup holder there. You can see the cup holder lights up and underneath we have that blue LED accent and both chairs will operate that way. As we move back into the bathroom, we have a huge bathroom here. Again, with the same doors going into the bedroom, that sliding door. 
We have your toilet right over here on the left hand side. We have a ton of storage space up top here with those four doors with the glass fronts, really dresses it up, gives it a really nice look in here. We have your large vent fan, which is an exhaust fan in the bathroom. Towel holders in the back. Over here with the vanity, we have your extra large medicine cabinet. It's got the two doors up there. Uh, lots of counter space as well. Huge single bowl sink. We have your 110 outlet. There is also um, a motion sensor light off to the right hand side there. So as you walk in at nighttime, that will automatically come on. And lots of storage down below. As you can see, most bathrooms are really tight. This one here, you have plenty of room to step out, uh, dry off and get dressed for the day as well. In the shower, we have more of a rectangle shower. Has the skylight up above it with your shower head over here. Built-in shelves. And they also have a really nice shower curtain here. So as you can see, this will just pull straight across. And that will lock in over here on this side. We'll take a step back and take a look at that. So that way you're not fighting with the shower curtain as you're inside there. And really gives it a nice look as well. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Alpha Wolf 26 RBL. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.